The port of Halifax, of course, has long seen ships of all kinds coming and going, but maybe nothing like the ships from one company looking to provide a greener option for cargo shipping, an option which harkens back to the old technology that got ships sailing in the first place. Brett Ruskin is on the story. It's an interesting one he's bringing forward to us. Brett, good morning. Everything old is new again. Had to check my watch this morning, Heather. It is 2021, not 1821, because we are talking about sailing ships coming to Halifax. So I'm here at the port uh, of Halifax, and so there is a new plan to try to bring back cargo shipping that's powered by sail. Take a look. When I say cargo ship, this is likely what you picture, but a new company wants you to think of this. Jean Zanutini, head of the company Neoline, says their mission is simple. The, our objective is to reduce by 80 to 90 percent of uh, fuel consumption. Trading gas for gusts. But what if the wind doesn't blow? Today, with new technology, with uh, weather forecasts, with uh, new routing simulations, we can uh, combine uh, huge savings as well as so a century of weather forecasting innovation lets them plot better routes across the ocean. And if they do really get stuck, there'll be a diesel engine aboard and that'll eventually be upgraded to full battery power. I went to ask a marine historian what he thinks of all this. What do you think when you see the designs and the plans for ships like these? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'm excited by it, actually. Uh, up to this point, it, the revival of uh, trade under sail has been a bit of a, a bit of a niche activity. Uh, I think you know, um, large players like Michelin becoming involved really offer the opportunity for significant change in that respect. Michelin is a world-class company. Michelin, yes, the tire company, exports $1.2 billion annually from its plants in Nova Scotia. And according to a new agreement, in a few years, many of those tires will be shipped to Europe by sail aboard Neoline vessels. Why would a company choose to sail with your ship as opposed to the conventional ships? The interest of uh, using sailing vessels uh, is to have... Um, uh, independence from fuel prices because we uh, drastically cut down the fuel consumption then we can uh, give us a fair guarantee on, on the on the cost from a longer time the price of wind won't go up and it's all better for the environment so is this the new normal well i don't expect to see you know the forests of masts that you know characterized the halifax waterfront in the late 19th century returning anytime soon i think it would be wonderful if we did see uh, sail-powered vessels calling on Halifax commercially again on a, on a somewhat regular basis, at least. And so, again, this is a plan that isn't in the works. So we're not going to see these ships like next month, for example. They're building the ships. Uh, they should be here by around 2023. So Halifax is one of the spots, one of the stops as they go from uh, Europe, uh, from France, across to Halifax, and a couple of other stops along the east coast of North America. And they were talking about how, uh, you know, things might be a little bit slower. They're going to go around 11 knots. That's their goal to get across the ocean and kind of their cruising speed. And they said because these ships are a little bit smaller, a little, a little bit more nimble, they can actually get to the final destinations a bit quicker, and that's how they hope to try to make up some of the lost time uh, that they would experience compared to, you know, conventional diesel and powered ships that we see all the time on shipping lanes. Very different kind of tall ship arriving in port. This is very, very interesting, Brett. Really appreciate it. We'll see if the idea floats, and we'll talk to you more about it later in the morning. <laughs> Thanks. Brett is in Halifax facts.